Hello and welcome to the fourth Wall Reinforcement Getting Started video. In this session, we will guide you through the process of creating perimeter reinforcement using Wall Reinforcement software. To begin with, let's explore perimeter reinforcement. On the right side of the configuration window, you will notice four tabs at the top. These tabs allow you to incorporate edge, diagonal bars, stirrups, and additional edge rebars within this section. Our first step is to add edge rebars, which are positioned along the perimeter of the wall. They consist of both straight bars and corner bars located at the corners. Let's add a new item and place two bars. A maximum of two bars may be placed per row. Anchorage length defines the length of rebar that should extend from opening edge when the perimeter changes. It's important to note that the corner bar, like the straight bar, has a specified anchoring length. And adjustments may be necessary in case of changes to the wall perimeter. If it will meet another edge, then the bar will be bent along the interfering wall edge to meet anchorage length requirements. The L-shape leg length parameter determines the length of the L-shape bar in the corners. The position of the bars depends on their quantity. If count equals 1, you can choose to place it at center or with offset from selected face. If the count equals 2, they will be placed by using interior and exterior cover values. Now let's navigate to the tab for diagonal rebars. Perimeter diagonal rebar refers to diagonal bar at the corners of perimeter. Once you add a new item, it is important to set the length of the rebar. If there is insufficient space, the diagonal rebar will be bent along the interfering wall edge. Edge cover is a distance from corner of opening to rebar. The remaining settings are similar to those for edge rebar settings. Let's now move to the tab where we can include stirrups along the perimeter of the wall. If you want to create stirrups, enable feature Create Perimeter Bars. Activate Vertical U Stirrup Reinforcement if you wish to generate vertical U-shaped bars along the horizontal edges of the wall. Enable Horizontal U Stirrup Reinforcement if you desire the creation of horizontal U-shaped bars along the vertical edges of the wall. And then choose the settings for the U-bar configuration. From the list below, you can choose rebar and hook types that come from your Revit project. Choose Revit plane reference and covers from each ball side. Parameter A segment length defines U bar length from the middle of the short edge to the end of U legs. The step parameter determines the spacing between bars along the perimeter edge. Specify the distance to set the gap from the beginning or end of the wall to the first rebar. Distribution options include starting from the start and end, individually from each side, or centered. If there isn't sufficient space between the perimeter edge face and the opening edge face, O-shaped bars will be generated instead of U-shaped bars if this feature is enabled. You can also choose the hook type and position. Additional edge rebar options are available in the tab Additional Edge Rebar in Perimeter Enforcement. You can place straight, L and u ship bars at selected vertical and horizontal edges of the wall. Let's add a new item. Search distance defines a range where bars will be created from selected wall edge. The minimum distance restriction prevents placing bars at the top and bottom of the wall, while the maximum distance constraint restricts the placement of bars in deeper cuts. For example, 
We have a wall with cuts, as in the image, and we set searching distance from 50 to 1000, then bars will be created only at the place where cut meets requirements. In the other picture we have bars that are generated at all edges because they fall within the search distance limits. Note, L-shape is placed only if there is a cut. L-shape CW and CCW will place L-shape rebar on perimeter edges like U-shape reinforcement. Anchorage length is an extension of straight and L-shape bars from perpendicular edge, if there is such. L-shape leg length is a leg length for U and L-shape bars. Regarding covers, you can refer to the explanatory images provided below for clarification. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial. In the next video, we will explore enforcement settings for L-type connection. Thank you for watching and see you next time.